Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasu Cat channel with a SOLIDWORKS 3D modeling how to make a 3D storage box. Okay, today I will create uh, two objects. First, uh, this object uh, for the storage box, and the second, we create a cover for a storage box. And also, I will uh, print out uh, this uh, 3D model with Anet A12. Okay, we start now. Open your SOLIDWORKS software and click a new. I will choose part, you can click OK. Next, I will click a sketch tab and click sketch. You can choose uh, top plane. We create a rectangle in it, okay, to this point. And then you can use a smart dimension to change uh, this edge into XT. And this edge into XT. I will use a circle command to create circle at the center point. Okay, and then you can change uh, this uh, circle diameter into 12. And okay. Next, I will use the fillet command with the fillet parameter 15. You can fillet at uh, this corner. Okay, we fillet in here. In here, and the last thing. Click OK to apply. Next, you can extrude uh, this uh, to this cat. You can click a feature tab. Uh, sorry, I will close first uh, this uh, uh, command, and then you can close cat. You can use uh, extrude bus to extrude uh, this to this cat with uh, direction one into twenty-five. You can close, and then uh, I will cut cat at uh, this face. You can select uh, this face and then click sketch tab. I will create a circle from uh, the center point. Okay, and then you can change uh, the circle diameter into 14. Next, you can click here to close uh, dimension command. Okay, I will use uh, offset command. Okay, you can select uh, this face. We offset uh, with uh, parameters uh, 2 and use a uh, reverse uh, option. Okay, you can use a uh, reverse option. Click OK. I will create a uh, land object, but first I will change into top view. You can click here, top view. And we create line start from this point into this point. Next, uh, we create line start from this point into this point. Okay. You can use uh, offset uh, entities again with uh, parameter one. Okay. And then I will use uh, be directional option. You can select uh, this line object and select uh, this line object. Click OK to apply. I will use uh, trim entities to cut uh, this object. Okay, we cut uh, this line object, and I will cut in here. Okay, we cut in here, and then we cut in here. Okay, I will cut in here, in here. And the last uh, we cut in this point. Okay, you can click OK to finish uh, trim command, and then I will use uh, extrude the extrude cut uh, command to cut uh, these uh, 3D models. You can uh, orbit, and then we cut uh, with the direction one twenty two and click OK to apply OK we cut uh, these uh, 3D models next I will create circle at uh, this face you can select uh, this uh, face and we click uh, scatter tab you can click uh, circle uh, command select at the center point OK and move to this point I will uh, close uh, this uh, circle command and then you can use uh, extrude bus uh, command to extrude uh, this circle object for uh, direction 1 you can change into 3 
and for a direction 2 you can change into 22 okay you can click ok to apply I will create circle at this face you can select uh, this face we create a circle in this point okay with uh, diameter 10 you can change into 10 and next uh, we use uh, extrude cut uh, command to extrude uh, this uh, cylinder object I will change uh, parameters into 25 and you can click OK to cut uh, the object okay you can see we create hole in here okay Next, you can save uh, this object into STL extension. You can click File here, and then you can click a uh, Print 3D. Okay. Next, uh, I will save file with format STL. You can save file, and I will put in directory. I will give name here about uh, storage uh, box body can save uh, this STL uh, extension ok we close I will yes here click ok and then you can close uh, this uh, part <coughs> I will save all into part save ok next so we create the second object uh, this uh, box cover box uh, story box uh, cover you can click uh, new part okay and then I will click sketch and choose a uh, top plan we create a rectangle object uh, in here and then we give a dimension into this edge uh, XT we give a dimension again into this edge uh, XT okay next use uh, fillet command with uh, fillet parameter uh, 15 okay, I will fill at uh, this corner click ok to apply and then I will create circle at uh, the center point with uh, diameter 12 ok you can close cat and then use uh, extrude bus to extrude uh, this to this cat with uh, direction 1 parameter 3 and ok next we export uh, or print 3d this object into STL you can change uh, you can click a file and click a print 3d ok format STL and you can save I will save into storage box uh, cover yes and you can close uh, this part okay, I will uh, save us save all into part 7 so, okay next uh, you can open your uh, Cura application to slicing this uh, model okay, I will open a Cura application Is, uh, the application and I will open the file okay we open uh, this uh, storage box uh, body and you can uh, rotate uh, this object click uh, this uh, option rotate click uh, the red uh, circle okay, I will rotate uh, 90 degree okay you also can change scale in here you can select uh, this object and change scale if you want to change into 50 millimeters or uh, another uh, uh, measurement okay you can click in here for uh, the printing uh, settings i will use uh, seals okay with uh, one millimeters and for uh, top or bottom thickness one and horizontal expansion 0.1 okay for a material 
temperature I will uh, use uh, 200 uh, degree okay with pad into 60 degree flow 100 and with speed into 60 millimeters per second okay you also can change uh, with pad ascension type in here like bump straw I will use a skirt here and you can prepare here and then you can save uh, this file okay next you are ready to print out uh, these 3d models 